Hello, welcome to uh, KCast on using Piazza, which is going to be our class forum. So I used to email students a lot, an awful lot, but the problem with email is that there's no permanence to it, you know? It comes in, you read it, you do it, and then you archive it. Wouldn't it be nice if we could have some sort of permanent way to keep track of our interactions together over the course of the year, we could start to do things like have discussions and we could share links and we could interact. And the nice thing about AP Bio is with multiple sections, it's nice to be able to interact with multiple sections. So Piazza is just the thing that lets us do that. It is a course forum. It's totally free. It'll run on any computer with a web browser. And when you joined the class, you gave me your email address and I put your email address into Piazza and Piazza sends you this link and Piazza says, welcome to Piazza. And it gives the email address that you put in. I put in my own email address just to show you what this process looks like. And it says that you were enrolled as a student in whatever course you're in. And it gives you this link to get started. And it says you can just click this link. The other thing is that you might want to get this code here and copy the code just to have it in case you need it. Probably won't need it, but just to have it in case you need it. And so you click this link and you're brought to this page. And so this is where you're going to go in order to set up your account. So you need to do a couple of different things here. The first thing that you might want to do is change the email. You might want to use a different email. Use an email that you actually check if you just gave me an email because you were like, ah, Kanofki's asking me for an email. So you would put that into the preferred email box. But of course, if you gave me an email that you actually do use, just check this box and magically the email address just pops up in that preferred email section. Uh, you can always change any of the information that we're about to put in here. So don't feel like you're committing to a fate of being, you know, scootilypooper95 at AOL.com if that's the email that you currently use later on. You can change that definitely. Uh, put in some user information. So give yourself your information. I'm just going to put in um, a shorthand because, you know, it already knows me as Dave Knofke, the teacher. So I'm going to be David K, the student. But you should totally put in, you know, your name, probably your last name as well, in case there are multiple people with your first name. And then give yourself a password. So I'm going to use a super secret secure password. And you should use a super secret secure password. And if you're really bad at keeping track of passwords, A, get better at it. But B, write it down somewhere so you don't forget it. You can use Facebook Connect which is this thing. So like if you're logged into Facebook, you'll automatically log into Piazza and you can decide whether or not you want to use that or not. I don't love connecting things to my Facebook account, but maybe you do. Um, in which case, feel free to set up Facebook Connect. You have an option to participate in Piazza's feedback program for a $50 Amazon gift card. I don't care about that. And um, you need to click and say that you've read and agreed to Piazza's terms of use, which are probably just like anybody else's terms of use, but feel free to read them if you wish. Um, yeah. And then click continue. And so when you click continue, you'll be brought to this page and Piazza likes to give you these tutorials. So they kind of gray out the screen and they point with these giant arrows and say, this is where you do this. And this is where you do this and all that sort of stuff. And you should read those, but we're just going to click to make it go away. And so this is the main Piazza page. What we have is over on the left-hand side, we've got all of the various items of correspondence that show up. Um, here is the main page where a particular post will be displayed if you click on it. Oh, look, another gray thing, great. And that's pretty much the way that this works. We're just gonna go through some of the things. So if you click this, I'm not sure where it takes you, let's see. Oh, it takes you right back to the home page. how about that? And if you click this little globe icon, that's where you will get the sort of main informational page for the course. That's where some general information is listed. You can check out the staff for the course. You can check out resources, course information. I'm sure we'll add more to that, but we're not really using it for that purpose because we have other things that we use for those purposes. Anytime you wanna get back to what we're actually gonna use it for, just click that back to Q&A button and you're brought right back up here. This is the course, so if you were in multiple courses, you'd be able to pick them from here. This is where you'll see all questions that have been asked in the class. All right, so here's a question post, yes? Um, here is where you can look at statistics, posting statistics. You can see who is posting the most. Maybe you have skipped, maybe you need to post 
a little bit more, that kind of thing. Here's where you can see notifications. There are uh, no notifications at current. And here's where you can search for any posts that you might want. So if you were looking for something that dealt with study groups, you just type in study groups and magically Piazza finds study groups. If you wanna make a new post, you click this button, but we're gonna talk a lot more about that in our next discussion. So over here, we have this kind of sidebar. I'm just gonna make this study go away. And so we've got things that we've pinned and we've got things that were posted according to time. Pin goes up at the top and you can change all sorts of options about this. You can indicate that you really like the post by clicking this little blue thing over on the side. You can archive the post and make it go away. Even if you make it go away from this left-hand post list, it's still searchable. You haven't deleted it or anything like that. Um, and this tells you that it's a note as compared to a question or a poll or anything like that. We've got some other things. We can enable auto hide mode. Ready? Ooh, it goes away. Ooh, it's back. Ooh, it goes away. Ooh, it's back. I find that kind of obnoxious. So I'm going to disable that. You can pull up a list of common tags. We'll talk a lot more about tags right now. Currently, there are no popular tags. And you can get the detailed feed view or you can get just the simple feed view. Really, there's no right answer to this. You can also filter posts. So if you want to see posts that you haven't read yet, you would just click the unread filter. Mine all go away because I read them all, right? Or posts that have been recently updated. That might be useful for things like discussions or posts that the instructor has marked as unresolved. Um, posts that indicate that you're following them or posts that you have stuck into your archive. Uh, right now, I haven't used any of those, which is why they're not showing up. All right, and so that's the main sort of thing that we're gonna use Piazza for, is for this communication. And we're gonna communicate between classes and among classes and between instructors and among instructors and students, and it's going to be uh, lovely. The other thing that I'll point out is over on the right-hand side, you've got a link to your particular page where you can put in a picture of yourself and add information about yourself, or you can click on this little home box, which just takes you to the class homepage, or you can click here. The little gear is of course the universal symbol for settings. And so we've got a couple of different settings. Here's where you would log out. This takes you to the Piazza homepage where you can read about all things Piazza. Here's where Piazza would like you to report bugs if you find them. Here's where you would contact Piazza. Here's where you can turn off those silly tool tips like when you put your cursor over something and it tells you what it does. Here's where you can get Piazza help about posting and so on and so forth. And then of course the account settings. And that's what we're gonna focus on right now. So if we click this, we get brought to settings for our account. You can change your name, you can change your password, you can put in another email address, you can specify a different preferred email address, you can put in an image photo of yourself through here. And these email notification settings are a pretty big deal. So the one thing that you probably don't wanna do is click the drop class button ever. That would just take you out of the class and then you won't be getting the notifications and I'll have to add you in again, which is not a big deal particularly, but it just seems like a silly thing to do. Um, but let's talk about these email notifications. So you can get notifications in real time. So as something gets posted, it comes to you directly. You can get no emails at all, which is the dumbest thing you could do because then you're not getting the information. You can get a daily digest, which will put all of the posts each day into one daily digest and email that out to you. Or you can get the auto digest. You can set the time period when you want to get auto digest sent out to you. And if new posts are put in in that time period, you'll get a collection of all of them. You can also for questions and notes that you follow, um, you can set different preferences for those. So you can get them in real time or no emails. You could also be subscribed to automatically follow every question and note that gets put up there, which is fine. Um, not, a bad, not a bad thing to do, certainly. So my suggestion would be to get either a digest email, probably like an auto digest, or real time, which I think is probably even better, and also to be subscribed to real time for notes you follow. And you probably want to follow automatically every question and note. If you want to change your mind about that Facebook Connect, you can go in here and do that. But really important is that we make sure that we click this save box there. And so now we've saved our preferences. And so if we go back into our account settings, you'll see, oh look, they've all been updated to reflect our most recent preferences. But of course, if you didn't save it, you won't have that for you. All right, so that's pretty much Piazza. Use it, you know, we're going to use it quite a bit, so it's good to get familiar with it in our next Screencast will talk about how to actually write posts and interact on Piazza. All right, very cool. Thanks so much. Take it easy.